Hello Radio Commanders! My name is Martin and I am part of the Radio Commander dev team. Today I would like to invite you all to a special developer's sneak peek preview for our upcoming DLC, Squad Management. We will play through the first mission of the campaign with Squad Management enabled and I will give you an inside look into some of the new features waiting for you. For anyone new to the game, let me say it's a pleasure having you here. Radio Commander is our original take on the RTS genre, where you play as a US Army company commander during the Vietnam War. But unlike most RTS games, we give you only the tools that were actually available at that time, a radio and a map. The Squad Management DLC expands on the original gameplay and will offer a great feature set for new and current players. So, without any further ado, let's hop right into it. We will fire up our radio and say hello to our soldiers. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Bear. While we report to our soldiers, I would like to say that we here at Sirius Sim are eager to open ourselves more to the player community. If you have any suggestions regarding the new release, or would like to share a story from one of your in-combat endeavors, we encourage you to hop onto Reddit or Discord and share it with us and others. As an eager new game studio, we also have a new secret project in the making. And if you would like to be one of the first to experience the reveal, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alright Alpha, what are you up to? Alpha, this is Papa Bear. What's your status? Over. So, our soldiers are already on the move, the nearby village, right over here. For all those unaware, you can use the keyboard shortcut P to draw out your plans on the map. And while our soldiers are on the move, let's open up the new squad management panel. And take a peek inside. You can access the new panel in mission through the folder lying on your command table, or by using the keyboard shortcut C. Welcome to the Squad Management Panel. This is the meet and greets of the expansion. Here, I would like to point out that we here at Sirius Sim are hard at work, still implementing new features, functionality, and fighting with bugs. So what you see here is subject to change. The Squad Management Panel gives you the ability to get more personal with the soldiers you send in the combat, and also gives you the new gameplay mechanic of being able to specialize and increase their effectiveness as the campaign plays out. The Glossary panel is a deep dive into the history of your soldiers. Many of them have a unique history and portrait, and as the missions play out and new characters come into play, additional information will be available here. The History tab keeps a handy tidy log of your endeavors during the campaign. You can filter through different messages and set it up to your liking. The Units tab is where most of the new features lie. During missions, you have access to this panel but any actual changes, such as assigning promotions, sending your soldiers on a leave, or reassigning them between different squads, is possible at the mission's conclusion. On the left, we can select and inspect any of the squads we are familiar with as they appear during the course of the campaign. We have our squad leader on display, as well as all the combat statistics of the unit. On the right, we have our squad's composition. At the moment, our soldiers are pretty green and have no special or unique abilities, barring from Corporal Bryce Kenrick, who actually knows some Vietnamese. As soldiers fight and complete missions, they will gain distinctive perks, which will increase the squad's overall effectiveness. All right, let's get back to the task at hand. And as Alpha has a pretty long way to walk, let's speed up the time and wait for their arrival to the village. I believe that players familiar with the game know the introductory mission pretty well, and for new players, in an effort to avoid spoilers, let's skip to the end and see how we can actually manage our squads.
After completing the mission, we can hop right into the squad management panel. The fighting, though short, was fierce. Both Alpha and the Cold and Bravo Platoon have gained a lot of combat experience. We have also unlocked some new characters in the glossary. Let's inspect both Alpha and Bravo squads to see what has changed. The experience gained during the mission allowed our squads to level up. Every time this happens, one of the soldiers gains a new random perk that affects the overall effectiveness of the whole team. We have prepared over 40 unique perks for your soldiers to acquire. In Alpha, Private 2nd Class Dylan gained a Flanking Ninja perk, which increases his squad's flanking ability. In Bravo Platoon, Corporal Morley gained the Digger perk, which will improve Bravo's overall defense. During the mission, Alpha was ambushed, and Lieutenant Kovacs reports that some of his soldiers were injured. Most of the injuries were light, such as Private 2nd Class Nixon here. He will be quickly patched up and ready for the next deployment. Specialist Zach McFree was not so lucky, and his injuries are more severe. He will need to be hospitalized off-site, and his return to combat form will require more time, which renders him unavailable for the following mission. Another negative effect your soldiers can experience during their long deployments is the Gaunt effect. This lowers the soldier's fighting spirit. The spirit mechanic is new to squad management and determines your overall campaign score. It also gives you some feedback on the mental state of the soldiers in Baker Company. If you wish for a more immersive experience, there is a toggable gameplay option where fighting spirit has a direct correlation to the squad's in-mission morale. We recommend this option for players wanting an extra layer of immersion and difficulty. As a soldier's fighting spirit drops too low due to his long deployment, injuries, or the gaunt effect, it is a good idea to send him on an R&R trip. I will set Private First Class Alan Flowers on such a trip so he can return in good fighting spirits. This removes him from the active personnel for the duration of the recovery. This puts two of Alpha soldiers out of action for the next mission. This playthrough, I wanted to designate Bravo as a supporting element and Bravo as my main combat platoon. To do this, I will reassign two of the soldiers from Bravo to Alpha. This will render Alpha at full strength again before the next mission. In place of the two reassigned soldiers, I will bring in reservists. By adding rookies to Bravo, I am depleting my reservists pool. Your squads will no longer have unlimited reinforcements between missions, so keeping your soldiers as effective and safe as possible is a key element in the campaign. During the campaign, you will also be able to designate some of your Baker Company soldiers for a promotion. A promotion will have a positive impact on the soldier's fighting spirit and provide him with a 50% chance to gain a new positive perk. Let's designate Sergeant Adam Sharpe for a promotion. I think he deserves it. Not all perks that your soldiers acquire are automatically positive. Some of them will have a negative impact. If that's the case, you might want to consider ordering the soldier's dismissal from the company. This is a double-edged sword, as experienced soldiers, even if flawed, are often the moral backbone of a squad. Their dismissal will affect the spirit of other soldiers, and the gravity of this effect will depend on the total time spent with his team. I think we are all set here. Alpha and Bravo have gained combat experience and new abilities. We have dealt with our wounded and assigned some rookies to Bravo. We can save our decisions and proceed to the next mission. This concludes our short sneak peek preview of the squad management DLC for Radio Commander. There will be more features waiting for players interested in the DLC, and if you would like to know more, keep a lookout for new promotion materials. 
The squad management DLC will be available mid-April on Steam. And we have planned some additional pre-release content. So if you would like to be up to date with the latest news, consider joining our social media channels, such as our subreddit, Discord, and Facebook pages. Links are all provided in the description. In the meantime, thank you for watching and see you next time.